everybody um jerome right here once again and um again you're here with me on my jerome right youtube channel here on youtube and um in this video i'm going to be making some fantastic acknowledgements with um regards to ancient um cave art and i guess we call rock art glyphs um that are globally around the world um in this video, people, I'm, again, I'm going to make it short and sweet. I'm going to try to make it the, the shortest one ever possible. But this is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Um, I, you know, make, you know, through my paranormal um, instinct, um, I have this multidimensional sense of being and this multidimensional sense of awareness. And in each video that I bring to you, I bring in you, a, a feel of that experience and how I can take something that is so old and so unique and break it down to you in my videos in a way that even you understand say hey you know what this guy is right and this is what I love about this and I love about being in a place that I am with my experience and my encounter which um, came to me through um, a paranormal experience there's no better way to put it um, I'm also on alien UFOs um, the forums there is dreams and experiences and my title on that is um, I am an alien and so are you and that's what all of this unfolded at um, as I evolve more and more into my experience and in my encounter more dimensional doorways are opening up not just in my mind but it's it's just opening up all through me and I'm able to almost like teleport myself telepathically to these multi-dimensional places to these multi-dimensional imaginative places and it's just and it, and it just gives me a treasure trove of information and here I am bringing it to you um, and this is how we end up with these videos every time um, in this video this cave art this is just a selection of some of many it's beautiful work people by our ancestors and it shows um, creatures um, in this case here you see horses which I'm going to come back to and you see a bunch of prehistoric creatures here and as you see in some they have I mean animals that are just in such a, a beautiful way um, shown depicted all right now I'm gonna bring something obvious to your attention like I always do look at these creatures how beautiful these creatures are here people look at that and all you have to do is Google cave art and you'll come up with you know what I mean uh, um, different um, um, images and I go usually go to the top and push images and, and I get it but check this out people what, what what we are dealing with here and this is by the way people just for educational purposes and um and that's it there's no scientific backing behind what I have but I think that um I am self verifying at this point because of all of the videos that I have and the information that I have placed up thus far okay um, so therefore um, I'm verifiable through my own self here okay I'm gonna come back up to these images and I'm gonna show you something um, here all right first of all my first acknowledgement with this there's a beautiful image over here I wonder if you can you can see that I'm gonna I'm gonna slide this over so you can see this beautiful image here. Right. Look at that beautiful image right there, people. Right here. Look at that. Look at that right there. You see that? Look at these images on how beautiful they are. And now I'm gonna take you to a logical place in your imagination. You know what? You know what's wrong about all of these images? Let me, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna point out several fascinating points to you that you've never heard before that's going to resonate with you immediately you know what the main problem is with this what this what's wrong with this these overall pictures of this beautiful cave art you know what's wrong with this the first logical thing that is wrong with this people is that our cave ancestors made such beautiful drawings of these animals very descriptive but nowhere globally, except I believe in Siberia, 
up in the um, uh, uh, up on that um that mountain, that megalithic mountain, that you will find descriptive images of cave people. They're drawn as sticks and and and, and everything else and and everything but in, in a beautified way as these animals are. It doesn't make no sense, does it? No, it does not. This is how you know that there was an altering of art somewhere along the line. This here is genuine, but there is something missing, erased from these caves that evolved, that, that, that evolved with the true people and the true people that drew these images. Because if they can draw this people, I'd be damned if they can draw, I mean, they can draw a descriptive image of themselves. It's not as being sticks like we see down where we at here. Look at this. A beautiful animal here drawn and then you got a stick person laid down there. You know damn well that that's not right. Something is wrong, people. Something is wrong. Something is terribly wrong here. There is a conspiracy that is totally out of place here. Beautiful animals, descriptive images all around the world globally. Art that is unimaginable. In fact, it would be art that is comparable and compatible to today art's work. But yet the people, and, and look, and this, this cave artwork now is described as being old. Very old, thousands and thousands of years old. So therefore, the artists behind these artworks, if they can draw this, they knew how to draw descriptive images of themselves and not as stick people. So how come I'm the only one that's stating this? That's the number one point. Because I'm gonna make, I promise to make this video short. There is another problem that we have. And I'm going to come down here to this. Well, you know I got several videos out here on Leonardo da Vinci's work. Just recently, um, I just did one, I think it was last week, about the um, his cats. The Leonardo's drawing of um, descriptive drawings of um, cats in, in movement. Um, his drawings, I guess his study of cats in movement. Well, when I came here and I started doing research for this video, when I seen that, and when I seen this with the horses, here's cats here, and when I seen the horses, I knew that I was on something major here, something real big, real big. You know why? Because if you go back to last week when I did my video on Leonardo da Vinci and his cats in in motion or cat um, motion cats in motion drawings, when they're mirrored, they create bodies, other bodies, and it shows genetic manipulation and genetic altering of mankind, and it shows you how through the body of the cat there was a genetic involvement with that of humans and it shows you the mutations in that see my other video that i just created last week well people i can look at this and if you take a, a look at this you can see that these cats are in movement look and these horses are in movement leonardo's and this is before leonardo's da vinci's time according to the the dates that is descriptive to um, and consistent to being with these the drawings, these drawings. So now, what does this mean? What do all of this mean? You know what this means? That our ancestors knew how to make motion pictures. I can see here, even where we at here, um, right here. I can see skulls of other creatures in here. There's a cat in there, but if you look close, you can see something. I can see the eye, the eye here. I can see a beast, a mutation right here. So, what is happening? What is happening? You see these, these, these images in motion here? I can even see a lizard right there. 
You know what is being described here, people? This is a motion picture from our cave art. I mean, our cave artists from an ancient past. That's what this is. It's cave. It's 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 motion pictures on walls. That's what these images are portraying, and you have them globally. So that means that. Through mirrored imagery or placing another image, moving this image will produce other images and mutations to show you what is being described here. And this is why you see these images in the way that they are. They're motion pictures, slides. Move them on a dial like any way that you want. And these cats will show other images. I see a skull of an ape here, a lizard there, where we at here. And look, and you can actually agree with me. You can see a mutation of a cat here. This is what this is showing. So basically, all you have to do is move this in the way that it is supposed to be done because this is art in motion people. This is art in motion and all you have to do is give it movement. How do you give it movement? You do an overlayment or you do mirror imaging and you just move it around and it's a, like on, like, well not a dialect, but like on a protractor and the image starts to move and it shows you which creatures contributed genetically to what is being described here in a genetic change and a genetic altering, which involved animals and that of mankind. And this, people, is a global thing, a discovery that can be applied to all of our cave art. But again, notwithstanding the fact that our ancestors were giving credit for making these beautiful art images, but yet stick images of themselves alongside of these beautiful artworks. People, something is wrong. If you accept that shit, then something is wrong with you because something is horribly wrong here. But you know what? Thanks to my genuine paranormal ex and experience and people like artists like Leon, 14th century artists like Leonardo da Vinci and other artists that knew about this based on underworld information, secret information that they knew and they encrypted in their artworks. That is the same describable messages that you see in ancient religious artworks where you see where everybody is clustered up like this. In those Renaissance images of, of religious images, all globally, look at these images. And it's stolen ideas, stolen technology from here. It's art in motion, like slide motion pictures. I'm going to leave this video alone. Google cave art and agree with me that they're, hold on, let me bring that <coughs> to this rhinoceros and agree with me, people, that there is no way, hold on, let me, let me bring this one image up. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no way that our ancestors, I, uh, there is no way, let me get this image, hold on. Let me get this image right there. And you have a trice, um, it looks like a trice, no, a rhinoceros with horses. There is no way that our ancestors can draw such beautiful images of animals globally. And there had not been the same images of themselves encrypted in these caves, or not encrypted, drawn on these cave walls. This tells you, people, that these cave arts were some at some time altered from their original state. And there is no way that you can believe now through my um, I'm, I'm revealing to you here that our ancestors knew how to make such beautiful cave art drawings and then make stick images of themselves or less than credible artwork and description of themselves than what they are doing here. How in the hell can they draw animals that look 
exactly like the animals that they were describing and make less, far less kindergarten images of themselves. These cave arts were altered and erased by early on um, explorations which included um, um, that were commissioned by ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted religion. I mean, um, ancient rooted um, royalty. The same people that boast of riches and gold and all of our ancient world's knowledge today, but suppress it from the rest of the world. Well, people, I'm here today telling you that these are motion pictures, slides. You can read them by just doing mirrored images of them. And they are very comparable. Look at this stuff and then look at the works and the artwork of Leonardo da Vinci, specifically the drawings. I have a video here from last week. Again, that video is of um, Leonardo da Vinci's um, cats in, mo in motion or movement. His drawing of those cats, study of a cat's in motion. When you move that like in a protractor way, an overlayment of itself in a mirrored way, sense, you will see what I've created and what Leonardo da Vinci describes as that of cats being and I'm, I'm genetically bridged over with that of mankind. And it shows you genetic altering that calls for other likenesses or genetic beings of mankind. And this is how we dramatically change from our ape and African ancestor from continent to continent to finally having blue eyes, green eyes, gray eyes, blonde hair, red hair, brunette hair, three-tone blonde hair, because we were genetically introduced to animals' genes that cause for our creation. And this is the big secret about reality if the way it truly um, is. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jerome Wright channel and I guarantee you that when I put my man on this to, to give me a mirrored image of this, to give me a an overlayment of this, we will start to see that there is other images that can be created from all of this. You know why? Because this, people, is somewhat identical to the work of Leonardo da Vinci. Look at that image. Google cave art. On that, people, I'm going to end this video. This is probably going to be my shortest video ever. I'm right to the point. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jerome Wright channel. People, share my videos. It's about time for me to go viral. Animals that are just in such a, a beautiful way um, shown, depicted. All right. Now, I'm going to bring something obvious to your attention, like I always do. Look at these creatures, how beautiful these creatures are here, people. Look at that. And all you have to do is Google cave art, and you will come up with, you know what I mean, um, um, different um, um, images. And I go usually go to the top and push images, in, and I get it. But check this out, people, what, what, what we are dealing with here. And this is, by the way, people, just for educational purposes. And... Um, and that's it. There's everybody. Um, Jerome right here once again. And um, again, you're here with me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. And um, in this video, I'm going to be making some fantastic acknowledgments with um, regards to ancient um, cave art. And I guess we call it rock art glyphs um, that are globally around the world. Um, in this video, people, I'm, again, I'm going to make it short and sweet. I'm going to try to make it the, the shortest one ever possible. But this is going to be short with my experience and my encounter, which um, came to me through um, a paranormal experience. And there's no better way to put it. Um, I'm also on Alien UFOs. Um, the forums there is Dreams and Experiences, and my title on that, is um, I am an alien and so are you. And that's what all of this unfolded at. Um, as I evolve more and more into my experience and in my encounter, more dimensional doorways are opening up, not just in my mind, but it's, it's just opening up all through me. And I'm able to almost like 
teleport myself telepathically to the point and to the point. Um, I, you know, may, you know, through my paranormal um, instinct, um, I have this multi-dimensional sense of being and this multi-dimensional sense of awareness. And in each video that I bring to you, I bring in you a, a feel of that experience and how I can take something that is so old and so unique and break it down to you in my videos in a way that even you understand, say, hey, you know what? This guy is right. And this is what I love about this. And I love about being in a place that I am, these multi-dimensional places to these multi-dimensional imaginative places. And it's just and it, and it just gives me a treasure trove of information. And here I am bringing it to you. Um, and this is how we end up with these videos every time. Um, in this video, this cave art, this is just a selection of some of many. It's beautiful work, people, by our ancestors. And it shows um, creatures. Um, in this case here, you see horses, which I'm going to come back to. And you see a bunch of prehistoric creatures here. And as you see, in some they have, I mean, 